Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Bat Penguin, and I know you guys clicked on this video because you want to know how to port Fortnite skins or anything Fortnite related into Blender so you guys can make thumbnails and stuff like that. Keep watching this video all the way to the end. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm super close to getting monetized. I'm only like a thousand hours away, so please watch all the way to the end of this video and let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so by the way, I just want to say this is only works on Windows. I'm sorry, I didn't make this, so like don't complain to me, but this guy who made it half, uh, he only made it for Windows. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. Anyways, what you're gonna do is gonna you're gonna join the link in the description for this guy's server. And once you join his server, you're gonna go all the way to V2 download. I don't know if there's a verification, I don't remember, but if, if you do, then yeah, just verify and whatever. But otherwise, just go down to V2 download, uh, and then you're gonna go scroll all the way down, and you're gonna see this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press Fortnite porting.exe. You're gonna press download. Um, I already have it installed as you can see right here. I have it opened actually. <laughs> so yeah, you just press download. Um, you can also scan it, I'm pretty sure. I because I you guys, so I've had this for like over like two months and then there's no viruses. Like I've done malware bytes, Windows Defender, uh Kaspersky or whatever it's called. There's it doesn't have a virus, so I just wanted to point that out. But yeah, so you're just gonna press download. Once you press that here, I'll actually do it for you guys just to show you guys. Yeah, you just press continue to download, it'll open something on Google. And then, oh wait, it's putting in the wrong folder. Then you're gonna press save, and then it should download. Once you have download, let me, I'll be back. Just, I'm gonna go open the file, okay? Okay, so it, it actually is already installed, so I, I physically couldn't show you guys. I would have to uninstall it, but then it would like change my uh, settings down here. But basically, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna like make sure that it's getting the right like Fortnite game. It should already be there. Then you're gonna press like install then it should just it just click all the stuff to make sure that it's like installing once it installs it should open up to this page once you uh, open this page what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have it that like the plugin it's synced with your actual blender um for me i have it uh it should automatically be here but if it's not you press plus and then you're going to go find it most of you guys it's going to be in your like c drive and pro, uh, program files and stuff but you guys go find that um you could search where your blender is also you could always search like on this pc and then search the word blender uh, it'll probably like send you to blender.exe then you're gonna click that and you're gonna press open then uh once you open it should be here and then you're just gonna press sync so as you see i pressed sync and it shows me this i mean successfully synced uh you can't have blender open while it's doing this or else it won't work but you could read it right here look see I just see it says right there what how you're gonna do it next thing you're gonna do uh since it is your first time installing it which is why you're watching this video open your blender as you can see i just have my file over here for blender what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna go to your edit then preferences right and then you're gonna search in the search bar for fortnite and make sure that this is this is checked so that it's actually on and then i'm pretty sure there's an okay or that's it and i'm pretty sure you can just close it so once you've done that all you're basically done once you've finished with the preferences uh that's all you're gonna do next thing you're gonna do is open your fortnite like porting thing and you can just go to assets and just import anyone like if i show you let's see so this is a new skin right you could do any style um i think we'll go with this one right press export so as you guys can see over here it actually is in it's it's merged with this other person so i'm just gonna move it for you guys but as you see our character right here if i click on it look i actually have her in the game now or not in the game but in blender so i'm just gonna move her all the way down to the end over there and then we're gonna take our camera as you can see if we click on it and then go to pose mode let's just click on that look as you guys can see we can move the character uh and then uh, oh oh my goodness uh, <laughs> as you can see it's just perfect for the thumbnails that's how you basically do it if you guys want to know how to do the lighting i'll have a video on the top right corner to show you guys how to get good lighting for your actual like renders so they actually look nicer and that's basically it please make sure you guys are leaving a like and subscribing on this video also comment down below if you need help with anything um i'll i make sure that i'm harding all your comments and replying to them usually unless they're very weird i won't reply but i'll make sure to hard it no matter what so you can test that if you want to if you don't believe me just comment something i'll make sure to hard it as long as it's not bad because i don't think it'll show me if it's bad <laughs> but but yeah um make sure you guys are leaving a like subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one peace